Hey what's up guys, welcome to Ethereum Tech. A couple of weeks ago, Nvidia released a new 10 series graphics card, the GTX 1070 Ti. Launched a year and a half from the GTX 1070 and GTX 1080, this graphics card is supposed to compete, more like overwhelm, AMD's Vega 64. So in this video, we have an Asus Trix GTX 1070 Ti and we're going to unbox it. So this is the packaging of the GTX 1070 Ti, the Asus Trix GTX 1070 Ti. It comes in a really neat packaging, lots of, lots of artsy stuff, make it more, to make it more feel like premium, premium. It has its own table management bands or whatever you call this thing. And the card itself. Let's carefully take it out. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Oh yeah. And next we're going to install it. So just so you know, here are the outputs of the GTX 1070 Ti, one DVI and one, two, three, four. That all HDMI. Yep. That's all. Oh crap. That's all HDMI ports. There it is. My system has booted up. Installation success. So we ran a couple of benchmarks with the GTX 1070 Ti. The first one is the Uni Engine Superposition benchmark, and the other is the 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark. Also, we ran a couple of AAA games and took their average, maximum, and minimum FPS. In the Uni Engine Superposition benchmark using the 8K optimized setting, the GTX 1070 Ti achieved a score of 2724 while maintaining an average FPS of 20.38, maximum FPS of 24.92, and minimum FPS of 17.44. At 4K optimized, the 1070 Ti got a score of 6224 while maintaining an average FPS of 46.56 maximum FPS of 60.21, and minimum FPS of 37.1. At 1080p extreme, the results are lower at a score of 3894. The card maintained a average FPS of 29.13, a maximum FPS of 33.82, and a minimum FPS of 23.8.
In the 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark, the GTX 1070 Ti achieved a score of 6,798 with an average FPS of 43.55 on the first graphics test and 39.59 on the second graphics test. This score will put you at the top 28% of all the users who submitted their benchmark at 3D Mark. In the 3D Mark Fire Strike benchmark, we got a score of 19,560. This puts us at the top 12 of all the users who submitted their benchmark at 3D Mark. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, the GTX 1070 Ti was able to get about 45 to 50, 60 average FPS at maximum settings, SSAA times 4, and about 90 to 110 FPS when the SMAA and the aliasing is selected. Of course, at triple buffer, there's a slight decrease in FPS compared to when you are at double buffer. important question of all can it run crisis what do you believe I'm here, I'm yes right. folks it can run crisis 3 the minimum okay. FPS that it got is it 31 the You're average is 55 and the maximum is 138 Shh. all right so if any one of you is still doing mining mining on ethereum this is the benchmark. That's a that's 26 mega hash per second average. The GTX 1070 Ti is a great upgrade if you're coming from a 900 series NVIDIA card or if you have a 1060 or lower card. But if you're already a 1070 or 1080 user, it's best to hold it for a while and wait for NVIDIA's next generation of cards. Honestly, I'm a bit disappointed that I was not able to hit 144 FPS at maximum settings on some of the older games like World of Tanks. Thank you for watching, hit like if you like this video, dislike if dislike it, tell us what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.